Hello, in this video we are going to focus on Sanford Harmony Lesson 3.1 Part 2. In the video we're going to continue learning about the bloopers. We are going to read a little skit together and identify the bloopers that we see. As a reminder, the bloopers we have here are going to be ignoring, interrupting, withdrawing, and controlling. If you want to refer back to definitions of these, I refer encourage you to refer back to lesson 3.1 video which is part one that goes over the meaning of these four words however in today's video you will go through this skit and help identify where you see these actions occurring so here we have a little skit as you can see i will read through this and they actually labeled the bloopers that you see but really think closely that what blooper is occurring how did that happen what could that character do to prevent that blooper from happening so in this story um, we start here with the narrator once upon a time in a classroom not too far away okay class settle down quiet please all eyes on me i'll count down five four three two very impressive students now i have your attention jenna i need your attention okay everybody it's time for social studies today we're going to have a chance to work within our small groups on the is it the glow project please say glow project no, Patrice, I bet we're going to work on the review sheet for the test coming up because I think you should put a rubber hose up your nose, Herman. Globe! No shout outs. I'll wait for you. Globe! She's still talking, Mr. Finkel. That's a warning. Okay, Herman, let me decide who gets a warning. Let's move on to the project, the Globe Project. Yay! So notice here, you definitely saw examples of an interrupter, a controller. Is that really necessary for these actions to occur in this situation? As the narrator continues, they say, supplies are passed out to each group, flour, newspaper, water, a balloon, and a tub. Herman, Julio, Jenna, and Patrice form a cooperative learning group. Okay, I want everyone to take out their balloons and put them on the table. Be quiet. I'll tell you how we're going to do this. First, we want to slow down, Napoleon. No one appointed you leader. Who's Napoleon? He was a famous ruler in the country of, but I'm over five feet tall. Napoleon was as short as a fire hydrant. Herman, why don't they serve French fries in the cafeteria anymore? I like French fries. The point is, Julio, we don't need a Finkel wannabe in our group. Who's with me? I don't mind directions, but don't be bossy about it. Julio, Herman, and Jenna look at Patrice for a response. Patrice keeps her head down as, the fiddles with, as she fiddles with the button on her shirt. After an awkward moment, she, look up, she looks up at the group. What are you looking at? This button looks like it's going to fall off. Come on, Patrice, focus. You're the one who wanted to do the GLOW project in the first place. So as you can see, controllers, interrupters, withdrawers, ignorers are all happening here. And this activity, this group work, cooperative learning group work activity is not going too well. None of these characters seem happy. Lots of arguing happening. And I don't think anyone is really completing the task. Okay, okay, let's blow up our balloons. All the students begin to blow up their balloons. Herman looks at his green balloon thoughtfully. Hey, Julio, do you want to trade your, your blue balloon for my green one? Julio looks back at Herman and continues to exhale into his blue balloon. Well, do you want the green one? What do you say, buddy? Don't go too far, it'll pop. Right on, Julio. Herman relents and finishes blowing up his green balloon. My balloon is ready. Here's how to tie a knot. Everybody stop for a second and watch me. I'm good at this. Wait, I'm not. Shh, watch me. Julio and Herman, are you watching? No, I know how to tie a knot. Patrice finishes her demonstration and ties a knot in the balloon. Okay, whatever, Julio. 
again, no one is coming to a compromise. People are arguing here. There's controllers, interrupters, ignorers. Nothing is fully getting accomplished. No one is helping each other. This is not looking too good. Patrice looks over at Herman. Herman, you do it like I did mine. It's easy that way. Where does my thumb go? This thing. Oh, just give it to me. Jenna reaches across to grab Herman's balloon. Herman resists and the balloon goes flying into the air. Herman at first looks surprised, then he looks mad. Relax, Herman. It's not a big deal. We have more balloons. Herman sits down in his chair and starts doodling on a piece of paper. Okay, I blew up my balloon. Now what? Jenna, can you pass me the flour and water? No one replies. I see. What a sad crew we have here. Okay, I'll get it myself. Okay, class, quiet down. It's time to start cleaning up. We'll finish the globes after lunch. The end. Notice no one in the class finished the globe project. No one ended that happy. Patrice clearly seems a little bit sad towards the end and recognizes, wow, my group could not even finish that one simple task because so many bloopers were occurring. People were controlling, people were interrupting, people were ignoring each other, and people were just flat out withdrawing from the situation and leaving that situation because they were just annoyed and bothered by what was happening. And at the end of the day, no one finished this project, and that is not what we want to happen. So as we can see, bloopers do occur, unfortunately. However, they can be prevented. And what you can be doing instead when you're working in a group project or you're communicating with others, whether it's virtually or face-to-face, -face, you can always make sure that you're listening, you're facilitating, you're negotiating, and you're supporting people. Now, we went through these definitions in the previous video, but it's always really, really important to remind yourself of these boosters. Listening and responding to group members' ideas in class. That would have been much better if people were listening in that skit before. Facilitating, providing the group with leadership that takes into consideration other members' needs and perspectives. Nobody in that skit was thinking about one another there. Instead, people could become a leader and help each other there. They can help them tie a knot in the balloon. They could switch colors if they wanted to and they can come to compromises. Speaking of compromises, negotiating is problem solving, compromising when there's a disagreement or conflict. That did not happen in that skit. And lastly, supporting each other, encouraging, supporting the group members when maybe they were frustrated or discouraged, which again, that did not happen. So I bet if these boosters occurred when they were completing that globe activity, they, these students possibly would have finished the activity because they were listening, facilitating, negotiating, and supporting. And in fact, these students would have not just finished the activity, they would have had a great time. So in today's activity, you're going to read through the skit one more time, and you're going to identify bloopers in this Google Forms activity. I encourage you to refer back to this video if you're unsure exactly what a blooper was or what that character was doing, how you want to classify that blooper. In today's activity, we're going to focus on identifying these bloopers because it's important that you're able to recognize that bloop, the bloopers that are happening. So hopefully you don't ever make those mistakes and you recognize if you're starting to do a blooper, you think, wow, wait, I'm making a mistake. Let me think of my boosters and do the right thing. Be kind, be considerate, especially when you're always communicating with people. And if you keep these boosters in the back of your mind, I bet you will always have great experiences when you're communicating with others and especially working in group activities.